working on this uh, 15 foot Scotty for Sarah and uh, I'm getting going really good on the interior. I'm waiting on her to bring me a microwave that she uh, wants to put in it. So I've got to stall out on the kitchen counter for right now until I get those measurements. So I thought, well, I already know how wide that uh, countertop is going to be. So I'm going to go ahead and make the upper cabinets. And I was going to take you through it step by step. So all I need, this is going, this is a quarter inch Luan. It's just going to be the face. It's going to be routed out on the face. I'm going to get out of the way because that's one of our last steps. We're going to need the two sides. Let me grab my tape real quick. I'll measure those for you. Now remember, you don't have to use my measurements. Always measure yours. But this is kind of a standard Scotty one. I've deviated a touch, not much. The top measurement is about 12 and 3 quarters. The bottom measurement is 9 and 5 eighths. So that'll give you what your angle is. You kind of see what they do. Those Scotties, you know, they try to save a little space wherever they could. So I've got two of these. And then right here would be the bottom for the, the shelf, the bottom right there. So uh, the tools I'm going to use, I got my nail gun, got my staple gun, got my router. You have that bit right there that we always kind of use right there. And uh, sander, just in case things get a little wild. Uh, I've got these two boards right here that are going to go across the top that are going to form the uh, door openings. Well, I have to cut one that goes here. So somewhere after I do this, before we put on that front piece, we've got to cut the middle that will separate the two doors. Uh, this will be a top piece in the back, like that. Oh, well, it'll be like that, so that we can screw into the wall. So I got two of those, and I'll put two of these just as braces right here. Brace right there. All right? That's really all you need. I mean, I'm sure at some point you could probably just freeze frame and take a picture and you'll have all the pieces. Now I say that, let's see what happens as I go through this. I'm not gonna talk a lot because you've seen me do this before and uh, Russ knows how to double time, triple time, and he's in a good mood. Here we go.
cut this, something you do need to know, sorry to stop the double time, but uh, 10 degree angle right here. 10 degree, 10 degree. Long side, long side. 10 and 5 eighths, you measure it. My measurement's gonna be different, okay? So, let's nail it in. degrees 10 was just a bit much seven might have been more appropriate it's gonna work it's really good it's just not that real super tight one but it's nailed it's gonna be glued not a big deal so here's what we got so far these will be the door openings right here this is to secure it to the wall of course, we're gonna have to make doors. We know that. But then we'll put our kitchen countertop light right here, sand this all down. So really, about the final step that you're going to see, and I'll explain that here in a minute. Let me get my glue. Ah, all right. You know we do like to use the glue. We gotta get it good and gluey. It just makes it, I don't know, it, it just sticks real nice, you know. You know what? I know what I just forgot to do. And that's embarrassing, so I'm gonna have to hurry and go do it. But I might as well do this glue while I'm at it. Make a mess for myself. We don't want our doors this wide, so we gotta put two more in here. We already know this measurement, so I think I can do it very quickly. So uh, there's probably gonna be a bumper that comes in here so you don't have to watch me not be here. Sorry about that, I'm back. I've got two of them. All right, and I, uh, I did put 7% or 7%. Here I go again. I put uh, seven degrees on this one and it really is a much better fit. to quarter inch crown half inch staples
I'm not going to waste your time on, I'm going to screw in here. <coughs> Woo! That's sawdust, boy. I'm going to screw into here. Everywhere that there is a point that's going to either be anchored to the camper or just to this front face, just to make sure everything is where it needs to be. I don't think it has to happen. These brad nails are good enough, but we're going to do it. Customer deserves it, so we're going to do it. But hey, you know, I'm looking at the countdown on the timer right now. 23 minutes. That's all that took. And it probably took me an extra 10 minutes to cut my pieces. But, uh, you know, it might take you a little bit longer because I've done, uh, you know, several of these. So I'm going to get that done and uh, I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Appreciate you. I'll be back in a couple of days. Give you something that you might want to see. I hope so.